Today we have brought you the latest Tesla news. Tesla Giga Berlin celebrates one year of vehicle production. Tesla sales in Europe rocket past rivals, according to new data. Tesla Model 3 used prices are down more than $11,000. And Tesla expects to lose full $7,500 tax credit in its cheapest electric car. Let's get into all the details. So let's get started. A lot of things have happened at Tesla's Giga Berlin over the past year. The facility's special paint shop took center stage as Tesla offered two new color options that are only available to Giga Berlin-made vehicles. Model Y production also ramped at a steady pace, reaching 4,000 units per week late last month. But Giga Berlin is just starting. It's an impressive facility today, but it is still just developing its stride. One year of vehicle production is still an impressive milestone nonetheless, which is why it's no surprise that the electric vehicle maker shared a commemorative post about the facility's milestone recently. Using its Tesla Europe Twitter account, the EV maker shared a picturesque image of the Model Y against Giga Berlin. Gigafactory Berlin's first vehicle deliveries were followed closely by the media last year, especially since the facility's final environmental approval took a long time. The facility's build-out itself was not that long, despite a number of delays, but the time it took Giga Berlin to secure permission to actually produce Model Y crossovers was substantial. Since then, Giga Berlin has faced more challenges, including opposition from local environmental groups, but the facility has continued to ramp its operations. This culminated last month, when it was announced by the electric vehicle maker that the Germany-based facility had achieved an output of 4,000 Model Y crossovers per week. But Tesla is not done, of course. As per recent reports, Tesla has started the application process for Giga Berlin's expansion, which would allow the facility to produce 1 million vehicles per year. Impressively enough, Tesla noted that it would be able to achieve a 1 million per year run rate, despite using the same amount of water. This, according to the company, is possible through the complete treatment and reuse of wastewater that's generated during the vehicle production process. Moving to the next update, Tesla sales in Europe rocket past rivals, according to new data. Tesla sales in Europe during February made the American company the fastest-growing automaker on the continent, according to new data from the European Union. Tesla has long been the dominant EV seller in the United States, but in Europe, it has faced significantly more competition, and the difference in market share between the two regions is stark. Tesla still accounts for nearly two-thirds of EV sales in the United States, whereas in Europe, Tesla doesn't even account for a quarter. Ironically, despite the increased competition in Europe, Tesla seems to be gaining ground, as new data initially reported by Barron's shows that it was the fastest-growing automaker in February. According to data from the European Union, Tesla sold a total of 19,249 vehicles in February, up by 49.68%, compared to February 2022, just shy of Tesla's infamous 50% growth target. This fantastic growth boosted the automaker's overall market share to 2.4%, compared to 1.8% in 2022, and its EV market share to 20%. Tesla's fantastic growth follows a similar movement in the overall European vehicle market, which grew by 12% during the second month of the year. Luckily, it seems as though Tesla is poised to double down on that growth, as the company's infamous end-of-the-quarter push is now being seen in many parts of Europe, including in Portugal, where the company is overwhelming its available parking spaces and asking owners to pick up their vehicles as quickly as possible. As noted by both Barron's and Morgan Stanley, this boost in sales is not simply a supply-side phenomenon, though the company's added production has certainly helped. More notably, Tesla's incredibly aggressive price cuts bring in more customers than ever. This price movement has been so profound that countless other brands have been forced to cut prices, as well as they look to stay competitive with the current EV market leader. Adam Jonas of Morgan Stanley 
calls this market price movement a trend, instead of a fad, which many critics have alleged, the price adjustments are. Mirroring this European success, Tesla sales in China have also climbed considerably, and in turn, the Chinese market has seen much of the same price war as Europe. What remains unclear is how price cuts will affect the North American market. Due to a less populated EV market, and perhaps a more divided opinion of Tesla CEO Elon Musk, prices for EVs in the United States have yet to react as violently, spare Ford, who has slashed prices on the Mustang Mach-E, and now plans to offer cheaper LFP battery-powered models in the near future. Moving to the next update, Tesla Model 3 used prices are down more than $11,000. Tesla Model 3 used prices are now down 21.5% since last year's peak. On average, the used price of Tesla's cheapest vehicle is down by more than $11,000. Due to the high demand and short supply of new EVs, used EV prices went up at an impressive rate last year. At one point last year, used Tesla Model Y prices went out of control and started to sell at higher prices than new Model Y vehicles. But used prices finally started to come down in December, as Tesla started to offer discounts at the end of the quarter. They have continued to come down over the last few months, particularly after Tesla implemented massive price cuts throughout its entire lineup and the new federal EV tax credit came into effect. IC Cars has been tracking used car prices and reports that the national average has fallen 4.7% over the last six months and the Tesla Model 3 is leading the pack. Here are the leaders in price drops for used vehicles over the last six months. However, the Model 3 doesn't look so bad in the year-over-year -year comparison, where it is down 19.3%, which is similar to many other premium vehicles. Most car buyers can't afford a new car and turn to the used car market, which is a critical part of the auto industry. When it comes to electrification, we always focus on the new car market since that's what is needed to transition the industry, and it's also what feeds the electric used car market, which is still a pretty young one. But it is growing fast and starting to be more exciting. Moving to the last update, Tesla expects to lose full $7,500 tax credit in its cheapest electric car. Tesla told employees that it expects to lose the full $7,500 federal tax credit in its cheapest electric car because the batteries come from China. Since January, some electric automakers have been enjoying a surge in demand thanks to the new federal tax credit program for electric vehicles coming into place. Tesla has been the biggest winner since its buyers completely lost access to the tax credit years ago after the automaker hit 200,000 deliveries in the U.S. For the last three months, eligible buyers in the U.S. could get a $7,500 tax credit on all Tesla Model 3 and Model Y vehicles, which are the automaker's two cheapest and most popular models. However, we knew that things would change by the end of March. When the new tax credit program was announced, it included requirements for battery production in North America and battery material sourcing in countries with free trade agreements with the U.S. in order to get access to up to half of $7,500 credit. But the guidance on how these requirements would work was not released in time for the new tax credit coming into effect in January, and therefore, they were waived until the second quarter. By then, the IRS has been expected to release detailed guidance about how those requirements will be accounted for. Now we have learned from sources familiar with the matter that Tesla has communicated to employees that it expects the IRS to release the guidance any day now, and the automaker expects to lose the full credit on the Model 3 standard range, its cheapest vehicle. The Model 3 standard range is built in Fremont, California, in the US, but its battery pack is using LFP battery cells built in China. The communication to employees appears to have been done to prepare buyers of those vehicles, as the access to the full credit could change if delivery is done on April 1, rather than March 31, pending official guidance. As for Tesla's other Model Y and Model 3 vehicles in the US, they are expected to retain access to the full tax credit, as they are using battery cells built by Tesla or Panasonic in Nevada, California, or Texas.
The battery material sourcing might be more of an issue, but Tesla appears confident that it won't be the case, as a large percentage of its battery materials are sourced from countries with free trade agreements like Australia and Canada. That's it for now. So what are your thoughts about this? Let us know in the comments. Stay tuned at the electric arena for all the latest Tesla and electric vehicle news.